Good morning. I apologize for being late this morning. Uh, <clears throat> just finished up a meeting here at work and it ran just a little bit long. So <clears throat> if anybody jumps on this morning, we'll get started. I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, Bo Stevenson uh, messaged me this morning, had some things going on on his place, and so he asked if I'd step in with him and or for him. <clears throat> and I told him I'm not the speaker that, that he is, nor not as wise, but uh, I'd gladly help him out. So anyway, uh, let's pray real quick and we'll get started. God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your goodness, your love, and your mercy. Thank you for your many blessings. I just ask that you be with us today that you would just be honored and glorified by the things that we speak about, that we think about, and that we do. In your name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Good morning. Again, uh, Bo is, uh, had some things going on this morning, so I told him I'd help him out today. Um, so anyway, uh, just wanted to share with you real quick this morning. I um, want to share some things from the book of Psalms with you this morning. So if you want to have your Bible with you, or if you want to jot down some uh, scripture references you can do that um but uh anyway i've just been uh just looking at the things going on uh, i know i've been talking a lot about these things but i think they're things that we interact with a lot here lately and so uh, i think it's important that we talk about uh you know a lot of these things i don't know about anybody else but sometimes just getting together and speaking about it can be really helpful but uh i don't know about anybody else but uh, sometimes i get tired i get tired of of uh, things going on in our world i get tired of you know the some of the ugliness um you know i get tired of all ugliness to be honest with you but the ugliness of the things that that people do to each other the way that they treat each other some of the things that are happening um like i say it's just just a a, a different and a, and a trying time um if i think you'd have looked back a year ago and and thought forward to where we're at right now we would have wondered oh well um you know, I don't think this is anything we would have ever imagined that this is what was going to be going on. So um, anyway, I'm going to share some things here with you um, from Psalm 32. I'm going to start in Psalm 32 and verse 7. It says, You are my hiding place. You will protect me from the trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Come and read it one more time. 32, Psalm 32, verse 7. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. All right. Um, Guys, I don't know about you, but there's a lot of days that that, uh, that sometimes I'm like, God, I just, uh, in a sense, feel, you know, hypothetically speaking, I just like to hide, you know, I just like to hide. I tell my wife sometimes, I'm like, you know, especially when the weather wasn't very nice, like it's a good day just to curl up with a blanket and just, just relax and, you know, keep the door shut, you know, uh, not worried about, you know, anything going on outside, but just, just be together and, uh, and relax, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of times I know that, that I read things, that I see things, and I think, God, God, help us, you know, and just, I think to myself, God, I'd like to get away from, from all this chaos, all of these things that are happening, all this ugliness, you know, and, um, you know, he's, he speaks to us through a lot of different things, but his word speaks to us. Psalm 46, 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in a time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though, though its waters roar and foam and, and the wet mountains quake with their surging, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fail. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the end of, ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. Breaks the bow, excuse me, and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. And verse 10 is one of my favorites. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. But verse 10 again, it says, be still and know that I am God. All right. I talked a couple of weeks ago about him being in control. He doesn't change. He's the God of yesterday, today, and forever, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. And he says, be still and know that I'm God, all right? And sometimes it's okay to be still. I think sometimes it's okay to, to hide. It says he's our refuge and our strength, all right? When you think about taking refuge, you take refuge from things that would harm you, things that, that would, 
that would that would come against you uh things that that uh, may batter batter you uh, may rain on you you know i know sometimes it feels like uh you know the the things will will are beating down on us almost like a rainstorm just beating down you can't get away from it your your shirts your your clothes everything becomes soaked all right with what's coming down on you and it says god is our refuge and our strength and ever present help in time of trouble he is that hiding place that we talk about in, in psalms 32 7 you are my hiding place you will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance and sometimes we need to all right i know we always need to but sometimes even more than others we need to 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 uh, to hide in that refuge that God is to to just let Him protect us from everything that's going on. Uh, like I said, verse ten says, "Be still and know that I'm God." We need to be still, just get in that refuge. Let Him surround us with the songs of of deliverance, with with uh, with strength, with power, with rejuvenation, with refreshing. I challenge you today, if this is you, if you've been saying, "Hey, I'm having a hard time with everything that's going on here," maybe right now I know there's a lot of people that have been you know furloughed that are uh, you know laid off through this time and and there's a lot of uncertainty and all right god is our refuge it says our refuge and our strength in an ever-present time of trouble okay and he wants to be that for you that shelter okay from the storms that are going on all right from the things in life that are that are pounding at your door all right he wants to be that you know and and be there there for us as a refuge and a help find solace in these things in his word all right and the, the Bible says, your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. It's a great thing to put some of these things into your mind, into your heart. All right, so those times when you're there, you say, God, I, I speak your word and I say, God, you are my strength. You are my refuge. You are my help in this time of trouble. And I ask you to surround me, all right, with songs of deliverance. All right, surround yourself and, and get into some, some, uh, some worship music. Get into some just some time of prayer and just get alone with God and say, God, you know, I want to shut everything else out, everything that would just come against everything that would, you know, that is trying to weigh me down that, you know, that, that, uh, the world is throwing at me or throwing at us as a society, you know, and, and I, I need to get away from that. I want to hide in your refuge. All right. Psalms 32, seven, it's a great verse to memorize to keep in that, that, uh, repertoire, if you will, of, of, of encouragement. All right. Psalms 46, one, God, you're my refuge and my strength. Sometimes you can take these verses, all right, and put yourself, interject yourself, and it says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Put it, change that hour to my, God, I know that you are my refuge. I know that you're my strength. I know that you're an ever-present help in my times of trouble, and I trust you, all right, because you are, you are with me. And then the, verse 10, again, it says, God, it says, be still and know that I am God, and right, just speak that verse. Say, God, I'm going to be still. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to listen to what you would have to say, and I pray that you just encourage me and just remind me again that you are God, never changing. You're always there. You never leave us. You never forsake us, and you're always there for us. Guys, I hope everybody has a great day. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that, uh, again, that, that you probably had to listen to me because Bo's gone today. I always look forward to listening to Bo, so um, I'm sure he'll be back next week, but I'm going to pray. Let's just pray that God would encourage and quicken each one of us in our spirits and our bodies. Just give us strength for the day and the rest of this week. God, thank you again for this day. Lord, the beautiful sunshine outside, I just thank you for that, God. This is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it, God. I just pray that you help us to be still, to recognize that you are God, Lord, always, yesterday, today, and forever, and that you're always there for us, God. Our refuge, our strength in our time of trouble, God. I just ask that you'd help us, God, to take some time today to be still, to recognize your glory, recognize your power, Lord, recognize your 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 mercy and your grace, God. We just thank you for all you do. I pray that you be with each and every person that is uh, tuning into this today, and I pray, Lord God, that your words be the words that they would hear. Thank you again for all you do. Give us a great day, a good rest of the week in your name. Amen. Hey, everybody have a great day, all right? Thanks. See ya.